Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to uh, and happy new year to this year's uh, Wolf College of Coffee uh, vlog. My name is Peter uh, and uh, this is our first uh, I guess what's this bit uh, for 2020. So what this is this bit that I'm holding? Um, well, I'm actually holding in front of me uh, what's affectionately called a fidget. Um, and so some of you may um, have may have heard this uh, spoken of before. Uh, but what is the fidget, and where? What does it do, and where does it belong? Well, firstly, uh, the fidget um, is actually the brand um, of the manufacturer who makes this particular product. Uh, and they're a North American based company uh, and you can find them on uh, web address www.fidget.com sorry um, and that's here below on the screen but one I'm uh, wanting to talk to you about uh, is particularly this one which is the four input uh, temperature sensor and this is really the main uh, sort of, I guess communication hub or device that we're using if you're particularly interested in connecting uh, your roaster to uh, a third party software like Artisan or Cropster for example um, where you're wanting to obviously pull in more sort of data and have this measure uh, I guess four data options for you because this is a four input sensor uh, so therefore it gives you the opportunity to put four I guess temperature probes into this uh, as up to a maximum. Uh, the one that we're using or the model number that's generally recommended is 1048 underscore zero. So this is the main model number that we use. Uh, and uh, basically looking along the top here, we have um, eight sets uh, or four pairs uh, on the terminal block up here. And this is on the screen part is where we'll be connecting in our inputs from our uh, RTDs or our probes and then on the other back here we have is the little USB connector um, and this USB cable will go back obviously into the, your computer. Now two things is you will need to download the latest drivers for this um, and you will get that off the the Fidgets website uh, so make sure you download the latest software drivers first um, then obviously draw, download the appropriate software of the, uh, the third party application that you're going to use, whether that is, um, you know, uh, like I said, Artisan or Cropster. Uh, once you've got that together, I would then typically start physically making the connection of these together. Look, it should be fairly. It should be fairly simple. Uh, making sure that the uh, in, that the that the pairs uh, match up together. You know, get one thermocouple sort of uh, hooked up first, and get that reading basically on the screen uh, rather than hooking all four up. Uh, and then obviously name that within the software. You know, whether it's a bean temperature probe, an environmental temperature probe, an exhaust probe or you know, in some instances we are using some humidity sensors. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about the wireless hub that's something very new that's come out uh, that we're having a bit of a play with as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so the main thing with these where most people tend to go wrong is yes, they don't download the, the latest drivers, which is really sort of important. Um, but also that when you're connecting uh, the, the RTD or the probe into this, you may get a negative reading uh, of the probe and so it's in a reading in a, in a negative uh, manner. All you have to do is just swat, uh, switch the pairing around. It's just a polarity issue. It's a real simple little fix once the polarity is kind of done. So within then your software, all you need to be doing is allocating uh, and naming basically what probe performs what function. So then when you're obviously reproducing it on your screen or in the graph and then ultimately pulling out your paper reports um, that's what uh, that tells you what each parts uh, or what what each area is sort of measuring. Uh, they're fairly cost effective. Um, we buy ours directly from Fidget. There are some local suppliers that you may find. Uh, we find these guys highly reliable. Um, you know, we we tend to process our order online, and we we typically have it in sort of four to five days, which is really incredible, amazing service. Um, but you will be needing this fidget, that's what this bit is, if you're looking to connect either uh, your software program like Artisan or Cropsa. So there you go, that is our uh, What's This Bit. Thank you for watching this week's Wolf College of Coffee vlog. If you'd like to watch another video, you can click one of them here. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe so you can always see the next video when it comes out next week. If you'd like to leave a comment or a like below, we'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, grab a cup of coffee and come back soon. I can wait.